Hey, what's up guys, Steven here. Welcome back to a new video. And today I want to show you how to add wireless charging to almost every device. So what I'm showing you today only works for devices with a micro USB port. On devices with um, different ports like my iPhone here with an Apple Lightning port, this is also going to work, but you need some kind of different hardware. So for the iPhone, there are wireless charging cases. Um, also there are different things like um, those wireless charging receivers with a Lightning connector. And the one I have here is from micro USB. But well, um, you can get really cheap products from China, so um, accessories just for a couple of dollars. And today I want to show you how to add wireless charging for only around 15 to 20 dollars, depending where you buy from. So what do you need? So you actually just need a wireless charging receiver, which you can see right over here. This is going to upgrade your smartphone if wireless charging is not included, and you need a wireless charger. So usually a wireless charger in my country is around 50 euros, so super expensive. This one here is 13 bucks, including shipping. You can find a link down below in the description and they work pretty good. So this is one of the better ones with an LED which lights up and shows you if it's charging or not. There are even cheaper ones for around $5 on AliExpress, Alibaba. So super, super cheap products and had no problem ordering them. Also they're fake Samsung chargers, but be a bit careful. Usually they're the worst, yeah, the worst products ever, but have the Samsung branding on them. They sell even higher than the higher quality products. So well, how does it work now? Um, there are two devices actually, devices with removable back cover and devices with a non-removable back cover. Pretty easy, you just take the wireless charging receiver, you plug it into the micro USB port of your smartphone and then you have to attach it somehow to the back of your smartphone. Here on this device, non-removable back cover, so this is kind of bad, so you need some kind of case. Have here an iPhone, um, have here a normal case for instance, so I could actually attach it and put it um, between the case and the back cover, so this is one of the ways you can do it. Or with devices with a movable back cover, you just take off the back cover, you apply it, you put the back cover back on, and this should work fine. So um, as you can see, the flex cable here, it's very thin, so make sure you, not, you do not bend it because you can easily kill it, but it should fit between the gap of um, yeah, the frame and the back cover, so no worries, it works on really almost all devices. So the next thing you need is a wireless charger. I have here those pads here in different colors, have a couple of them um, here at home. So the input on them is five volts of 1.5 amps. Um, there is no wall socket included. You have to use the micro, the USB port of your computer. This is probably not going to de de deliver enough current. Sorry guys. Um, yeah, then you have to um, attach it to a wall socket, which um, delivers more current. So the output is five volts, one amp. There is no quick charging included on those devices. So um, the charging speed is not the fastest one, but I would say five watts um, is quite decent. So how do they look now? Just like those small pads, diameter around, I don't know, seven centimeters, something like that. Um, they have a micro USB port and a LED, which includes, um, indicates um, if it's charging or not. So yeah, I'll let me show you that. So we just connected here to a USB port and now here you can see the product. So now you grab your smartphone with the receiver. For instance, here the Fly smartphone, world's finished smartphone. And then you put it on here. So I have to switch on my testing machine. And there we go. So the wireless charger, um, it's not charging right now. So you always have to find the correct spot. This can be a little bit tricky. So the wireless charger has to be right under the receiver plate. And there we go. So the wireless charger is now draining seven watts from the power socket. For sure it needs something for the conversion here. So the output will be something like five watts. Um, yeah, as you can see, it has an LED here. So this indicates that the device is charging right now. And yeah, um, works pretty fine. So why wireless charging? Now, um, it's a pretty cool technology because your USB port is not going to be used anymore. Or just when you connect it to a computer, for instance, to transfer data, which is not such a huge um, thing anymore since you have a lot of cloud-based services. So you actually um, protect the USB port. If you put in the cable all the time, you can kill it. And sometimes um, repairing your USB port is really expensive in some shops. So well, this is pretty cool. In work, we also have a table, a wireless charging table. You just put your smartphone on the table and it's going to charge. So this can be really, really useful. All right, guys, so very easy. Um, charging speed is also kind of okay. And only bad thing, your USB port is blocked. So you would have to re um, yeah, remove it every time you want to connect it to your computer or to the, to the charger itself, which is a bad thing. But well, um, pretty cheap way to add wireless charging to your device if it does not support it. I hope you enjoyed it. You will find links down below in the description. Make sure you check it out. So thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, please leave a like in the comment down below and subscribe that you don't miss any future videos. Okay, then see you very soon in the next one. Have a nice day and bye bye.